All right, y'all, it is journal time. Y'all see my watercolors out. Y'all know what time it is. Time to set my journal up for the month. And before I get started, let me show you all what size I'm using. I'm using a new size. I mean, it's, it's not that different, but I kind of changed up my size so it could fit in, in this traveler's notebook. And my dear friend, Michelle, over at Kudo Crafter, she made me this traveler's notebook and she's going to have these in her Etsy shop in a minute so I know I will be getting some more of them so I thought you know it's a good time to get used to this size I'm not sure if she'll have this size or other sizes but I made this one like my usual it just has like the dot grid bullet journal type style and then I made some more with just random card stock that I need to use up not sure what I'll do with them but I made some to go in there but how pretty is that so that is that so I have my watercolors and I have a few things out on my desk not too much um I have some washi and this one came out of some Happy Meal that I've been meaning to use and I also want to use some goodies these also came in some Happy Meal so I want to put some of this in I want to put some of this in my journal. I have that and I have a few stickers. So I am going to get started and go ahead and watercolor these pages. And I always have trouble getting started on that first page. So I think I'm just going to skip it. So I have my my little DIY watercolor palette. Actually, I have two of them. And then my little one. Um, this one, this one is almost out. I think I've used almost all of it up. So let me know if you want me to film it like when I make a new one because I have those little cheap, it's like a little pack that you get at Michaels. It's like it's under $10. And it comes with like eight colors in it. So I take those eight and I mix them to make all of these. I think this holds, I think this one, I know this one holds maybe 60 different colors. But I make all those from those little eight, that little eight pack. So let me know if you want to see how, like how I make this palette. And I am going to stop rambling and get started. Or maybe I'll do a voiceover this month. I don't know. And I'm also going to try, I don't know, I may tone down the watercolor a little this month. Oh, I know there's one more thing I want to show you before I get started. I wanted to show you all what this looks like when it's finished because I show you, I do have a few, I have a flip through of uh, all my journal, like my previous journals on my channel. But I just wanted to show you like what it what it looks like once it's finished because you just see like once I add the watercolor and the stickers so it ends up like this random stickery jumble I don't know what, what to call it but like as I journal I add little things whatever is sitting on my desk so what it looks like when I finish like it turns into something different by the end of the month and basically I use this um, I use journal it just my daily journaling I don't use it for memory keeping I use it more to um, I don't know, kind of keep me in a positive emotional space that's kind of what I use my little daily journal for so I'm not really you know saying what happened each day some days it's a quote some days it's what it some days I will put what happened that day if you know it was a really good day and some days if it is like if it was just a terrible day in a bad mood to bring myself back into a happier space sometimes I will make up a journal I'll be like I had just the best day today this is what happened and I will just write this whole story and by the time I'm finished you know, I feel like I had a better day. I have forgotten whatever it was I was in a mood about. 
so that's kind of how how I journal and I, I may do like a whole different video on how and why how and why I journal but right now I'm just going to show you the setup like I do this at the beginning of each month and I'm not going like I don't know I think last the last few times I just went overboard with the watercolor so I'm trying to tone it down and basically I want to tone it down because I have I want to use more washi this month And basically the watercolor when I do the watercolor it like you don't when you get ready to journal you don't sit down to just a blank page you sit down to a page it's already kind of been worn in so you're not just intimidated by that blank page and I feel like that also stops you from just random journaling like oh this is what happened today blah 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 you know you don't fall into that trap because it's I don't know it always kind of, already kind of has a color scheme it already has I don't know just a a feel I don't know it just has this broken in feel to it already and even though I have all of these colors I always tend to gravitate like these are my favorites in this in this little uh, palette. Oh, let me show y'all. This is <laughs> a little Eltoids mint tint. And I made that one so I could do some watercolor on the go. But I guess uh, since we're in this lockdown, I will not be going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, not anytime soon, but I won't be out watercoloring. Let's put it like that. So I will stop rambling, and I'm gonna I'm gonna forward it.
All right, so I am all done with the watercolor. See, I told you I wasn't going to get carried away this month. I want, I didn't want, like last time, like there was full, a full watercolor wash on the entire page. I just wanted, and I still wanted to see some of the white. I wanted to change it up just a little. And I also tried, or maybe I didn't. See, this is how, like the last few months, like the, this is the style I had been getting to, but I want to, I don't know, scale it back with the watercolor. I even tried to get out of my little comfort zone. I was like, you know what? Every page cannot be pink. And plus, I need to use up, <laughs> like I need to use up this side of the palette. This side is almost empty. And the same with this one. This is the first one I made. Like this side well, actually, this side is almost empty, and a lot of these ended up cracking just because I didn't use them. So that's why they, it looks empty, but I didn't actually use them. So, that is all of my watercolor. And now it's time for the fun part. Time to pull up my stickers. Y'all know I get excited over all this. So I will be using... This is the new sticker book in my shop, but let me see. And I have some other random stuff out on my desk. I may try and save this mostly for my planner this month. I want to try and use up some of this. Let's see what I can use. Let's save these. Oh, you know what? Let's start with washi. As you can see, this is very random which is why I enjoy doing this so much. If you are a sticker lover and you just love putting down stickers without actually, um, I don't know, without taking all the time to see, oh, where, I'm a, where will I put it? How will it look? Like this is just so satisfying just to be able to stick stuff wherever. Just random just randomness. That's all I have to say about this. And especially if you are a scrapbooker and I know like doing scrapbook layouts you're very meticulous. You're, you want everything in a certain place. You want your story. Like with this project I'm like just stick it wherever. And this has also been helping me use up a lot of washi because I don't really use washi tape too much in my planner. And this is also a good spot for like I don't know if in like that random random washi like this one has this one has little swans on it like stuff like that is kind of hard to use or it may not make sense on any other layouts but here like I don't know you can just stick it in use it like I don't know it it does not have to have a point
done actually i'm not i do want to add the month on the front i want to put august right on the front since i put a sticker on the front this month i just could not resist <laughs> putting that on the front but let me show y'all this is the first page i usually put like my goals for the month on that page and yes that is enough room for me i y'all would be surprised how much i can write in that little space I love the way it came out especially this page I think this is my favorite these are those little bits that came in um, in my happy meal and I made a little cluster right there so I think that's my favorite And I don't, for some reason, this washi will not stick. Oh, but this is other stuff I like to do. Like, I like to have little hidden spots. I don't know, to write other stuff. She's like, she's going to lift her leg up and tell you a secret. <laughs> I don't know, I think I was in a tipping mood this month because I did a few of those. Mainly because I wanted to kind of use some other little scraps that were on my desk. But yes, that is it. This is it. So I am all set up for the month. And I am ready to journal. I really enjoyed myself. Oh, and the you didn't see all of these in the back because my camera died. But I don't know. I was just having too much fun. So I just kept going. So that is it for my journal setup for this month. I hope you enjoyed this little setup. And um, maybe I'll do a flip through at the end of this month. Or the end, depending on how many I have, I'll do a flip through. So I will see you guys in my next video.